Hey, it's Hope. We are on to the next book. And I am excited about it because so far the process has gone very well. Next up is, okay. All good people here. And this is a recommendation from Taya's Turning Pages. Let's talk All Good People Here by Ashley Flowers. As I said earlier, this was recommended by Taya's Turning Pages, and she does a lot of recommendation videos, reading blogs. She tends to read a lot of the new release books, which I like because I don't pay attention to a lot of new releases. So a lot of the time, if something has come out, it's through BookTube that I discover that it's out. And that's how I become aware of its existence. But All Good People is a thriller. And it follows Margot, who comes back to the small town that she's from. Margot, when she was a child, her next door neighbor and friend was killed. And the murder was never solved. She was six. Like, they were very, very young. And when she gets back into town, a girl in a, an adjacent town um, goes missing. And it's very similar. And so now there's talk about... Is the murderer still out there? What's going on? But it's a small town, and so while everybody is up in everybody's business, they're also very tight-lipped about it. And it follows Marco is just trying to figure out what's going on. This book reminds me of, what's it called? More Than You'll Ever Know by Kate Gutere, I believe is her name, because the protagonist is a journalist, as Marco is in this book. And she's trying to write about this unsolved mystery. And it's got similar vibes. Now, there is one thing in this book that I'm not a big fan of, and that is the character who is losing their memory. Her uncle in this, which is why she's come back to the town to take care of her uncle, is suffering from early onset Alzheimer's, I believe is what he's suffering from. And I just don't like that in a thriller book when somebody who holds a key piece of information is is going through something and their memories are not what they used to be. I don't love that in a book, but that's a personal thing. What I do think this book does very interestingly is the ending is not at all what I expected it to be. And I was, I enjoyed that it wasn't a, a normal ending, but I don't know that overall I loved this book. I read it, I had a good time but it's not one of my favorite thrillers ever. However, it's one that I probably would have picked up at some point anyways, just because of what it is. So I'm glad that I read it. Very quick read. And I would say I will continue to look for her recommendations when it comes to thrillers, because she's had a couple in other videos that I've agreed with her opinion on. Um, this just isn't one of my favorites, but it was still a good time. And I always, I do enjoy the small town aspect. I grew up in a very, very small town. And so the knowing everybody's business, but kind of being tight-lipped, <laughs> so accurate. <laughs> Another kind of interesting thing about this is the author, I believe, is a true crime podcaster. So she does kind of add that element of um, awareness when it comes to the character being a journalist reporting on a true crime. I, I think that the crossover there, her real life experience versus the protagonist's experience and what she's writing about is, is quite interesting. I think a lot is being done right now in books about true crime writers or podcasters and at some point I imagine that's going to get a little boring, but this was still interesting enough. There you have it. That is this book. Thanks for watching the video. I appreciate you very much and I will see you in the next one. Bye.